Oracle Souls, this is Miss Empress Joshua Tedlo, Spirit Medium, Tarot Reader, Voodoo Priestess, and Spiritual Advisor. Today I'm going to do just a general quick read for my fire signs. Remember that this is again a general reading. If you'd like a personal reading, you may contact me through EmpressJoshua.com, find my deal on Groupons, or message me through Instagram or Facebook. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, remember that, again, you want to take what resonates with you. If it doesn't resonate with you, simply toss it aside. Again, we're just going to do a quick general, all right? Okay, so with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started with my fire signs. So I see a lot of money on the board, uh, fire. Um, so really it looks like maybe a house structure or a foundation has fell down um, that you're coming from in your past. And you could have been between the Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. So basically two people who were financially abundant. But there could have been just finances, not really any emotions that were really too much involved. You don't see any water in there. You don't see any fire. So not really too much chemistry. It's mostly, mostly like um, financially based connections. But this could be a pair. But of course, again, there's not too much communication or emotion involves. It's just more of like oh, <clears throat> kind of a pair of coming together to be because they match financially. Um, as well as one person single, one, the other person single, one person where's their abundant and the other person you could just see they're abundant. This person has, could also be pregnant. OK. Um, I also see there were some choices which were being a fool about really lighthearted when it came to kind of a home situation as well that may have put us in this choice of choosing between money and family or trying to figure out how to balance in all i do see like a ten of pentacles so happy family happy home um again this is financially charged may also deal with children um that you are with someone you have children with or, or whichever um so coming together financially and bringing that together as well as at home so also realizing that there are some things that may need to be cut out um and uh, kind of just placed out as far as for people or outside um, energies that need to be cut out when it does come to your energy. But again, I do see a lot more uh, finances when I come when I see your cards fire. I don't really see emotions, which is rare for me when it comes to the fire signs because you guys are pretty emotional. Your sun is upside down. Okay. So there may have been some loss, like loss of success that came with this as well. So you're rebuilding, okay, because your son's upside down. So you need to get yourself back up. Your son, your success, things of that are upside down right now. So you really need to focus to bring this son back up into um, the correct position, all right? Um, you know, you are rebuilding things. You may have re needed to rebuild your foundation from scratch, you know, um, and your finances, finding different things, different ways to rebuild that. Um, but also with that, I see your sense of pinnacles again, learning to balance things that are going on, people in your lives, bills, prioritizing what needs to be paid, what needs to be done, the actions you need to take. Um, but along with that, I also see people who are in your pocket. So people asking you for money. Um, that doesn't really help you. So as you're building, people may be seeing you build. So you just want to be mindful that people are constantly asking. This will be two female energies, two male energies. Whether they're asking you for money or energy, you need to make sure that you're focused on you. Okay. Because you don't have that money to give. You need to get yourself in order and focus really more on you. Okay. Let's see what's going on with you or what's around you. I'm just keeping these short today because um, I've had a little issues with the uploading the longer videos. So the longer videos, I'm going to only be putting them on YouTube only because I'm having issues with Instagram and Facebook with my long videos. OK, remember, for right now, you do want to say um, don't say what you could do for today for tomorrow. So don't keep putting things off. This is someone who kind of keeps putting off. I'll handle this tomorrow, I'll handle this tomorrow, I'll handle this tomorrow. Go ahead and just address that today, because if you continue to put things off tomorrow, it will cause a tower moment where things will fall apart. I also want you to be very aware, Fire. You do have someone who is not really for you, who has an artificial heart, so they're pretending. This could be because I do see you with finances. Um, you know, and also if you are a divine masculine, I feel like finances are starting to come together, or if you're a feminine, there's some finances that are there, and there's someone who's just not really real about it and they might see, know that you'll do things for them okay so just be a little bit aware of that type of energy let's get some spirit cards <clears throat> all right 
guys. So whatever you're going through right now, you're, not, you're definitely going to need some courage and bravery in order to get through this, okay? Everything is going to happen in divine timing. So if you're waiting to come back in with someone or whichever, this is going to come back into full circle within the divine timing when things are, are uh, actually settled. It looks like there's some work that needs to be done on both ends or some things that need to be done as well as you need to take action and actually do the work for whatever it is that you want. Get out of your head and start moving forward. Um, kind of get in, get out of that self <laughs> like loathing or feeling bad for yourself because either way the issues or things that have happened um, happen for their greater good, whether we want to recognize that that was for us or of our own doing or not. Okay. All right. Um, and then lastly, let's go ahead and pull some romance cards before I head out of here, because I do have some other readings I really need to get to. So I wanted to squeeze in these readings really quickly, just so I can get them, because I haven't done any um, element reads for a while. Okay. So it does look like maybe some situations that you are in right now or like to go into can also um, come into like an engagement energy. So that's good. Somebody who would be um, a, or you're not even an engagement, just more of deciding to go ahead and be with each other and continue forward in that way. There are some things that you need to forgive and also things that you need to learn from whatever has happened so that you do not continue on in a negative way. There's some experiences that or happen experiences that happen in your past as well as the present moment that you just need to learn and not not um <laughs> not repeat. And then be optimistic about your love life. So if there are things that you are interested in or is someone you're interested in or if you are interested in just having a love life that is better, you need to be optimistic about it. And again, do the work and take the steps towards that. Say what you want, do what you want, and communicate. Communication is big. What do you want? Stop sitting there by yourself or not talking about what it is that you truly want, okay? All right, so with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Until next time, toodles.